good morning you guys so i'm back with another frustrating video so um at this point i'm not getting on here about what i look like or anything else um so the video i did yesterday updating you guys about the eeg and stuff that she was gonna have um possibly tomorrow and then the ambulatory next friday for 72 hours excuse the plane um so i just got a call that there's a cpt code needed and that is one for um the routine and then there's a code for setup and then there's a code for each day she has it and then there would be a code for reading as of right now her insurance does not have these codes that listed um to pay for this service so the guy told me i can either pay 250 um that would get her the um routine eeg and the reading of it or two thousand dollars for the 72 hour one like where am i supposed to pull this money from and she has medicaid i don't understand She's had many EEGs before. She has had many um, ambulatory EEGs done in the hospital. I know all of this was done before, um, you know, the, the pandemic, but at the same time. But he also said that it could take Medicaid up to a month to um, put these codes on so that the company can bill to request their money. Um, I don't have a month. Um, I don't have 250. I don't have 2000. Like this is absolutely crazy. And like I said in the other video, she's been doing this since a week before December 10th. I'm more than a frustrated mother. Um, I don't wish any of this on anybody um, because watching your child go through something like this and because of money or insurance or anything like that, um, she can't get the service. So this is truly sad. So I just wanted to update you guys on the, what is going on this morning. So now I'm going to go try and call her Medicaid card call the neurologist's office and let them know what's going on. Um, I'm at the point that, you know, I'm scared of the ERs, you know, just with the pandemic, but she may have to, um, you know, request her to do it there. I don't know, but something's going to have to give. But thank you guys for watching, your love and prayers, and... Um, I will again keep you posted, but like I said, I'm more than frustrated right now, um, especially watching my child go through this. Um, so, and I was hoping that we would get the routine EEG done tomorrow so that when she sees the neurosurgeon on Wednesday for the shunt and stuff, that he will be able to see, you know, if she is having any type of seizure activity. So now that's not going to happen. But again, thank you guys, and I will update you more, and um, go from there. Peace up, A-Town Down.